So welcome back to some more Persona 5 Royal. Last time we, uh, again, just hung out with our confidants and raised our social stats a lot by eating burgers and giving nutrients to plants. Don't ask me how that works. This time, we're hanging out with our best bud. Exams are coming up soon. You're not getting a jump on studying without me, right? Right? If you're gonna do it, you wanna do it together? I'm in serious trouble. So, what's it gonna be? You wanna study with Ryuji? Yes, I do. That's a huge help. I'll be waiting at the diner in Shibuya. Yeah, needless to say, Ryuji screwed. <laughs> but, might as well help him out. Yeah. Huh. I'm starting to get the hang of this. So I guess that's what I do with this one, too. Wait, that's no good. Damn it, what did I miss up on? Try starting over. Good advice, Ren. It's important to revisit and review where things went wrong. Uh, sure. Okay. Cool. You get a lot of points for knowledge. Very worth your time to study with your friends, considering, well, you get a lot of knowledge out of it. Plus some confidant yeah. points. Hmm. Oh, here. If I just fix this. Whoa, problem solved. You're freaking amazing, dude. I'm gonna grab a refill. Solving that question's got me real pumped up. Wanna head back? I do not miss high school. Holy crap. I don't know about you guys, but like... Yeah, college is a, wa a lot of work, but like... You can get into a rhythm with college, so... I can't believe this. A school assembly? During exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's a day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's gonna be about Mr. Kamashita again. Ugh, I can't believe the school's messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's gonna it's gonna have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty a mandatory rough. assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. I mean, all you gotta do is just stand there and listen. That's a big, I guess, a waste of time, but still. Well, exam week. We it's imperative that you get these right. What's uh, What historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrates? That would be Yoshitsune. Ooh, Make sure you get these right. Mm. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. Yoshitsune had a brother, right? Uh, I think his name was... That'd be Yorimoto. Yeah, that's the one. Yoshitsune worked under Yorimoto. He did a lot of things for his brother. But they ended up coming into conflict. And in the end, when they had to oppose each other... Yorimoto won. Yeah. Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by his brother. But even though he lost, Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history as a hero. That's probably because people tend to t uh, sympathize less with figures in power, and sympathize more with... the weak. Yeah, not just any weak person though. People who love rooting for the underdog, who stands up to powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yorimoto. Yep. You finished in time! Also, I don't know why I keep doing this, but I keep, like, <laughs> running out of breath, and I'm sorry for that. I guess I'm still learning how to talk and read and do all that at the same time. I apologize. Let's get started. Today's the second day of exams. Screw you. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? Cognition. That sounds about right. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Both. Ooh, we can do this. For the four color, uh, four, four color theorem, yes. And no, I am, I am literally doing this all off of memory, and I am surprised I'm remembering all of these. Holy crap. Okay, class, let's get started. Name the book that, uh, that defined malfactor as the chief factor, factor in the progress of the human race. Well, 
Uh, that's a reference to Digital Devil Saga. Devil's Dictionary. That's a reference to the base game. Um, the first school question you were given is to name that book. And uh, they put it in the exams here. What character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with ulterior mo uh, motives? That would be a femme fatale. Learned that a few days ago. I am surprised I am remembering all of this. We're almost done, though. His voice is sexy. My name is... Huh? My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. No need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. Yo, you ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? Are you G? Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Not really. The tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? So, what do you want with us? Ah, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Tell me more about these snacks. Hey! Don't fall for that! To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. For its students. Ah. The school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... Mental training. Oh, crap. 
If I make good use of this, it may aid in our Phantom Thieves' activities, too. There's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. Dude, I'm down for snacks. So, which way are you leaning? I'm for the snacks. No harm in a little chat. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I've made a deal with Maruki. To the future! Because that's another confident unlock, and uh huh. This one's kind of going to be a doozy for a bit. Uh, I'll talk about that it's in a second. I can't believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name. The birth of the Counselor Arcana. This is not an actual Arcana in real life, at least as far as I know. Maruki is an extra character added into Royal. He is not a character in the base game. And he is pretty vital to the story. We'll be focusing on him throughout the game. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. But yeah. When you're doing his confidant, make sure okay, you rank him down. up. Like, for the love of God, he is vital. Very, very vital. Anyway. I have an addendum er, addendum to the earlier assembly regarding the, uh, regarding the counseling you've all been offered. The counselor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse, uh, nurse's office. Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November. So be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether you, or not you see him. But there are a few stu uh, students I'll speak with later. The school's decided. Visits to Dr. Maruki will be mandatory for these individuals. Yo, you guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? It kind of sounds like we're being forced to. I told Maruki I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really into that idea, you know? Not much choice. Yeah. Probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna try going out, uh, going today. Mm. Counseling, eh? Lady On's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Welcome. Oh, this isn't voiced. Are you here for a counseling session? Yeah, is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Shall we get started? Oh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> No, no, it's it's all right. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. Uh, I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to somebody. 
Yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him. For Shiho. Mm-hmm. And? And at first, I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through. But... But... Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it would it'd give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you've got the wrong... Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature e either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now? Hmm. I'm just hoping Shiho will get better quickly. We've both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamachita. Yeah. Now there's a health, uh, healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this happened at all, but... Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. No, oh, it, seems, it seems I lost track of time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. No, no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that it's all off my chest. Be careful, okay? Huh. Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay. Will do. See you around. Counselor's got some special power, huh? Well, I went for count. Uh, I went in for counseling. You're going too soon. Or you're going soon too, right, Red? How'd it go? Hmm, well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Maruki's easier to talk to than you think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Didn't you have a counseling appointment? That's in the nurse's office in the practice building, right? I'll just pass time in the area once you're done. Yep, you're roped into this. And before this starts... You probably should get a Counselor Arcana. We won't get one for a little bit. I think you have to be level 12, which we are at level 12. I just made the mistake of not getting a Counselor Arcana. But, uh, yeah, you might want to grab one very, very soon. Just saying. How are you? Ah, hello. Are you here for a session as well? You too, huh? Yes. Yes, that's right. Dr. Maruki is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while, before he ever came to Shujin. Uh? Oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go overselling me too hard, though, Yoshizawa san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. You are cute. All right, then. What say we get started? Thank you for coming. We made a deal. <laughs> well, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. I see. Hmm. Thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of the situation you're in, Amamiya Kun. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. It's in the past. Did you have to force yourself to accept everything that happened? No, that doesn't seem to be it. So, Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. 
I should note, that's really, truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example... Like, wanting to be a model student, or wanting to be loved and relied on. That kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish to be. Hmm. You've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up in dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly ad admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy who you just met, huh? But it sounds right. <laughs> not, ev not even at any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong, Amami Akun. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow this conversation just took a life of its own, I guess. Uh, say. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing this, doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. It's not quite, quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So, I'll need more details. Uh, no, sorry. sorry. I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you'd have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, anytime's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And, uh, I've got a lot of snacks too. You can have them, they're yours. Well, okay. Really? Yes! You're a lifesaver. Let's see, I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's our second deal. Yep, automatic rank up. And yes, those confidant points matter. Detox X. When Joker is inflicted with an ailment, he may recover immediately. Maruki's confidant is overpowered as hell. We'll see more about what other abilities he will give us, but Joker just turns basically invincible when he's fully ranked up with Maruki. But like I said, right. we'll talk about that when the time comes. I know. Oh right. Would it be okay if I if we traded contact information? I'll contact you when I've got time or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. now, I'd better do my part to repair you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's see, first off. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Plus five max SP. Not only do you get the uh, confidant bonuses, but you also get SP bonuses when you talk to him. Really, really helpful. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? You also get some well, stuff. See you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around at school. That specific item will uh, cure paralysis. So, Maruki is very vital. You want to prioritize him at all costs. You really spent a long time talking to Maruki. Wonder how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. Good night. But we should definitely get some sleep for now. Tomorrow's your last day of exams, right? Uh, crap, we can't go out. Okay, well, guess we'll just read a book. Let's go to bed. Oh, come on! Can I not even read? Well, why did you even... Uh, this is what I was talking about in the base game where Morgana just holds you up at night sometimes. He does this constantly in the base game. They fix that in the royal version, but it's really annoying in the base game.
Last day of exams. I'm so sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. How manly. Eh, it's what I always do. No matter how many times I fail, nothing's gonna change. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. Damn! What was that? Ugh, will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? What's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? What oh, kind of question is no, that? That's not it. It's... Nothing. Hmm? Oh my god! That guy got off! Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Matarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. 
please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. Back in time again. Well, is it back in time or forward in time? Probably forward in time. After all, we are playing a backstory, I guess. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? I don't want to say. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Well, that was fun, but now we got more exams. Oh, God. Today's the last day of exams, huh? Seems like uh, seemed like some of those were kind of tough. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have, you have, yeah, you should have gotten a decent score, right? Those are good words to say. That means you basically aced everything, and uh, the, the last check is the knowledge rank you have. If you have maxed out knowledge, you get every single answer right, perfect 100, top of the leaderboard kind of thing. But, uh, that's impossible for us right now, so don't worry about it. You want to at least have a high score. It's over. How about you? One of my favorite lines in this game. I'm feeling confident. You traitor! I love that line. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Madarame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. What should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled then. That should be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. 
Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. I guess that's what we're doing. And our day is wasted. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady On. I'm curious to know if this Madarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We'd better not go out tonight. So I keep thinking about what Nakanohara said. Could he have been talking about that the famous artist Madarame? That sounds about right. Seconded. Great. The name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys never heard of someone else called Madarame. It's really not that common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools. Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. Guess we got no choice in- Damn it, can we at least go downstairs? Okay, thank you. We can at least do stuff tonight. What does it say? An exhibition featuring Japanese artist I uh, Ichiryusai Madarame opens tomorrow in Shibuya. Ant uh, anticipation for the exhibi exhibition is high with special uh, specials broadcast on TV and great ticket sales. For real? Hey, it's that old guy. I don't think he would actually become famous. Sure. Uh, we've studied enough. It might be good just to read or make coffee. Might as well get some extra points with uh, Sojuro here, so... Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Let's make some coffee. I'll brew some coffee. Oh. Guatemala SHB. The volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard bean, SHB, a grade given to coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, has a citrus-like acidity in a full body. But I mostly did this because I wanted to get some points. I have Barith on me. Yeah, he's Hyro. There, okay, we're good. I wanted to at least make sure we have a point with him, plus, uh, well, coffee's always good. Sunday, which we can't actually do anything because they're getting taken up by this stupid art exhibition. Uh, gotta love making the game waste your time. Welp. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out. Are we really going to appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Let's learn about Madarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Don't ask me. Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? 
Over there. I'm so glad I came on opening day. Hey, you stop pushing. There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. He seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. Wait, what about on? Let's not worry about it for now. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? Huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? He does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! Let's try going to Mara. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Welp. <laughs> More of our time being okay. wasted. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Well, then. This reminds me, home shopping program. Can we go outside? Please tell me we can go outside. 
Oh. Alright, well, at least we can do some shopping. Allergy relief. Two calming masks and wide eye drops. Or stuff that's completely pointless. I'm gonna go with something that's actually useful. Jesus, why is that 1400 or 14,800 yen? What the crap? Okay. If you want to know what those do, um, sometimes when you hang out with the confidants, you can gift them stuff, and depending on what you gift them, will give you more points towards their confidant rank. I, I don't think it's that great to be honest. As long as you're being careful with what you say and planning everything right, you. We'll never have to do that, trust me. But I never talked about that uh, second mate badge and the attachment pearl. Increases max HP by 10%. Not bad, if, especially if you didn't grab that um, that attachment or is it or an accessory? Especially if you didn't get that accessory in Kamashita's palace. Attachment pearl nulls forget, so you can never be afflicted by forget. So there you go. Uh, so I guess I can really decide on what I want to do here. We'll probably, uh, that's uh, 48 minutes. Yeah. Hey. Let's read, and then, uh, I'll skip this again, because I always have to. And, uh, yeah. So, beat you guys tomorrow. Make sure you close up. Okay, let's get hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to, uh, I want to talk a little about how mental health and perce uh, yeah, perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to just, er, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof that it can even heal you, er, heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Amamiya-kun. What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? That would be the placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people will specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. Yeah, I mean, people know of what uh, placebos are, so that's kind of a more obvious one. There is a, a very subtle... Uh, Easter egg reference uh, that he'll mention later. That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that, so come by to the nurf uh, nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe in it hard enough? Maybe. Or, you know, just start cosplaying as a human. Phantom Thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty! Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. It's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. Again, again. I think everybody knows which one I'm gonna pick. Time to button mash.
Oh, I just threw up in my mouth. Oh, seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya, doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Sorry, Morgana. I had to, though. It's such a good line. Which line do we gotta transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. And we will move in the next episode. I hate doing that, but we are at a safe point and, well, we are running at time, so... Next time on Persona 5 Royal, we'll be heading to Madarame's house and see a use case perspective of whatever we've been hearing about Madarame. And I'll see you guys in the next one.